Neil, I was wondering if you could break down for us the difference between doing the dishes and writing for another comedian, for example, Ellen. Uh, I will. Ellen, I did the dishes for Ellen. You did the dishes for Ellen. I did the dishes for Chris. I did the dishes. I guess I did the dishes for Dave. That was before I considered doing the dishes. Back then it was, I wasn't doing stand-up, so I wasn't doing the dishes. I, I'll do the dishes, you know, I'll do the dishes for someone I give a fuck about. Right. And, and, or someone that's like an amazing fucking, I'll do the, like, I'll do the dishes for Ellen or I'll do the dishes for Mount Rushmore. Um, but I'm not the Mount Rushmore of comedy. It's when people that I'm have better careers than <laughs> that's the weirdest part. Or it's somebody like my asked daughter. me to write for them a couple of weeks ago that it was everything I had not to be like, are you fucking, fucking out of your mind? You, what did you say? Actually? I said like, thanks for thinking of me. I'm not trying to write for anybody else right now. But so you did a good, you, yeah, I would, she, uh, he or she will never know right. whether, uh, I how hard I could have gone back at her. <laughs> could have fucking lit her. It's a, it was a shit. But just been like, what? What are you? What? Are you fucking out of your mind, lady? It's the equivalent of asking like a a lister to be in your student film. It's a, it's an equivalent of going up to Emily Ratajkowski and saying, "Fuck me right now." No, it's I'm not a, that. Man. That's ugly. how bad it feels for you. <laughs> I'm not a good looking. I'm a two. Fuck me right now. You should fuck me this right now. This is how it feels. No, that's the equivalent of someone asking. Again, I can't say yeah, yeah, you know, know. my standing in show business. But didn't someone the, say, didn't someone ask you to help on, like write on their children's? Like they had a project coming up with their, like the, something the, that was like, what? The amount of dumb shit Get that I got asked here. to like, the, the list of people that I will happily write for is short and they're all uh mark twain prize winners <laughs> i even told you it was funny um you know i'm like writing a show and i was just like yeah i would never ever ask you to help i would never do- oh. i know you so i'm like someone said something like oh ask me i'm like are you fucking out your i'll mother- read it i still wouldn't but, even ask you yeah that. i you. i am a friend of yours yes. i would never ask yes, you. yes thank you i know you would if i asked yes that's that's all I need to know. Yes. I would never. I said, you know what? I told you once. I'm like, if I sell this show, and it's in its second season, and I need tell me what the show is, and I'll watch it. Yeah. Or if I was like, if I need a joke on one yeah. line, I will ask you. Like, yes. There's no way. Yeah. Leave it's it not alone. like no. It's again. Rock kind of ended up doing a joke about it, where he's like, when I go to this comedy store, <laughs> everyone talks to me left. like we're peers. <laughs> And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He goes, when Rodney Dangerfield used to come to the club, one person could talk to him, the MC. What do you want me to say, Rodney? Now these bump and Chris is like, now bumps come up to me like, what's up, Chris? Motherfucker. Stop. Comedy's a little big for its bridges right now. It's a little big. Well, it's a little, it's like a flat earth thing where it's like anything. Everyone's around. So everyone's like available. Like he's right there. He's right there. But it doesn't mean he's right there. He's not there. He's don't very far away. Don't uh, mistake geographical proximity for career proximity. This which, is how do you feel? Tell us how do you feel, Neil? This is how do you feel? Tell us just how you feel, Neil. Hey, I said, welcome to how do you feel? You know the deal. Gotta learn just how do you feel? It keeps it real. With this cold, what's beyond?